what the heck is all of this trash? Well, good news for you, we sort of kind of know. Though the extent of human perception is severely limited, and when compared to the grand scheme of the universe, our existence is entirely insignificant in every way, we've still managed to ignore the fleeting nature of our lives and deep-seated knowledge of our meaninglessness and attempt to take on trying to comprehend our universe. It took us humans a little while to get to where we are today. And sure, early astronomers were drawn and courted by the church, but eventually we got our point across. One of the first things we realized is that there are other big round things floating in the darkness with us. Those are stars. They are huge balls of burning gas that exist for a while and then kill themselves. Our sun is one of those suicidal gas balls. This strange man-child will now overly inform you about it. Takes up 99.9% of the mass of the entire solar system and a diameter of about 865,000 miles. There's no doubt it's big. It has a surface temperature of about 9,900 degrees Fahrenheit, and the light from the sun only takes 8 minutes and 20 seconds to reach Earth. Our sun is in a small spiral in the Milky Way galaxy called the Orion Arm, and is about 100,000 light years away from the center. We are so isolated that the nearest star, Alpha Centauri, is 4.3 light years away. Sunspots are cooler spots near the surface, and our solar cycle is lasting about 11 years. The sun's giant loops of its magnetic field oppose the flow of convection, stopping the flow of energy to the surface, resulting in a very dark color. Solar flares occur when giant loops of its magnetic field collide and explode, ejecting plasma and radiation up to 4.5 million miles an hour. But here's where it gets interesting. If you were to sand on the surface of the sun, you would die. But the good news is you'd be evaporated before you would even feel it. Moving on, the sun is powered by fusion of hydrogen and helium in its core. Every second, about 620 million tons of hydrogen are converted to helium. For every fusion reaction, a small amount of hydrogenous mass is turned into light, resulting in the loss of mass. Sunlight totals to about 100, million, 100 quadrillion kilograms each year, which, which is the equivalent to the size of a medium asteroid. The more massive a star is, the hotter and brighter it burns, meaning its life will be shorter, and our star is a G2 star on the HR diagram, which is classified as an average star. A hotter one would be G1 and a colder one would be G3. Hotter stars burn blue if they're... Dang it. Hotter stars burn more blue and cooler ones burn more red. The light depends on the elements and temperatures of a star's atmosphere. And Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky, is hotter and about an A1 on the HR diagram. Betelgeuse is a larger yet cooler star and more red, classified as an M2. Our sun is roughly 4.7 billion years old and around halfway through its life cycle. In around 5 billion years, it will begin to run out of fuel and fusion will stop. And the core heats up. The core heats up and becomes denser and will start to fuse hydrogen close to the surface, slowing inflation. Up. Let me redo that sentence. The core heats up and becomes denser and will start to fuse hydrogen close to the surface, slowly inflating it like a balloon. The sun will become a red giant, 200 times the size it is today, for about 1 billion years. It will destroy Mercury, Venus, and possibly Earth. The sun will begin to fuse helium into carbon and oxygen nuclei, making the core more stable and ejecting the outer layer, forming a nebula and leaving its core a white dwarf. At this point, the human race will have been destroyed or left in search for an adequate substitute for Earth closest planet to the Sun. It is the smallest planet in the entire solar system, and its orbit takes 88 Earth days. It doesn't have an atmosphere, and is basically a big rock with craters, much like our moon. The surface temperature on average is 430 degrees Celsius. That's really hot. Are you done? Yeah. Uh, feel about this project? Uh, I hate my life. <laughs> I um I don't I don't sleep ever and uh, I need help. Yay? Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Uh, you think you're ready for the big time? <laughs> yeah, man. I'm ready for the big time. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Thank you for your time, sir. <laughs> It takes 224 Earth days to orbit around the Sun. It has the longest rotating period in the solar system, which is 243 days. It also 
rotates the opposite direction of most of the other planets. Venus has no moon. Venus is a terrestrial planet and referred to as Earth's sister planet because of their similar size and masses. It is the hottest planet with an average surface temperature of 863 degrees Fahrenheit, even though Mercury is closer due to its dense atmosphere. It may have had oceans in the past, but they would have been vaporized as the temperature rose due to a runaway greenhouse effect. Third planet from the sun, and the only object in the universe known to harbor life. It is the densest planet in the solar system and the largest of the four terrestrial planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. It is also the fifth largest planet in our solar system. Earth is exactly 92.96 million miles away from the Sun. Earth's diameter is also 7,917.5 miles. Earth's tilt of 23.4 degrees is the reason why we experience the four seasons here on Earth. Earth's lithosphere, lith Earth's lithosphere which includes the crust and the upper mantle, is made up of plates that are constantly moving. Earth's atmosphere is made up of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% other gases. It also affects Earth's long-term climate and short-term weather, and it protects its inhabitants from the harmful radiation from the sun. Earth is the only planet in our solar system that has one moon. The moon is also farther away from the Earth than a lot of people realize. To put this in perspective, you could fit 30 Earth-sized planets between the Earth and the moon. Guys, what's going on over here? You guys got got Sputnik. What, what's hey, this? What's this? Hey, man, this is uh, this is my Saturn right here. Is that, is that the Death Star? Yeah. Is that, what, that is, what's uh, this supposed to be? Oh, that's the all-seeing eye, Remy. Oh, okay. Okay. The, this, why does the Death Star's beam have an arrow on the end? Of it? No, that's like the, the explosion. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like, blowing up the bottom. Like, you should like like get a chunk out from the. No, yeah. why are you, because the Death Star's blowing it up. Whoa, dude! Whoa, calm down, calm down, dude. I think this you're in the you think you're in the wrong room, man. You need to you need to calm down. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun and the second smallest planet in the solar system after Mercury. Mars is a rocky celestial body that is about one half the size of Earth. Mars is about 141.6 million miles away from the sun. As with other terrestrial planets, Mercury, Venus, and Earth, volcanoes, impact craters, crustal movement, and atmospheric conditions such as dust storms have altered the surface of Mars. Just like Earth, Mars experiences seasons due to, due to the tilt of its rotational axis. Mars's orbit is about 1.0 times farther from the Sun than Earth's, and is slightly elliptical, so the distance from the Sun changes. That affects the length of Martian seasons, which vary in length. The cold temperatures and thin atmosphere of Mars do not allow liquid water to exist at the surface very long. A year on Mars is about 687 days, and Mars also has two moons, being Phobos and Deimos. Talked about planets like, like, I don't even know what planets you talked about, but like, how did you feel about those planets? I mean, I feel like Earth's kind of important because, you know, we live on it. Mars is cool too because it's big and actually it's smaller, small and red, you know. How did you feel when you were recording? I felt, I felt pretty good. I felt, I felt knowledgeable. You know, I, I felt like I knew what I was talking about. I still feel like I, I could know more, you know, I gotta go in the, I gotta go in the grind. I gotta, I gotta find more information. I gotta find out more stuff. You think, you think you're ready for the big time? Big time, you mean like Jupiter? No, no, big time, like, like we're talking like real documentaries here. We're talking like you're going to be on planet Earth. You're going to be on National Geographic. You think you're up for that? I, I mean, like, I, I think if I put in enough time, if I put in enough work, like, I, 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 I sit at my computer. I don't need to do this. <laughs> yeah, you, you want to say that? You want to see that to the camera? We're going to what do you fail. think this is? We're not going to fail. Yeah. That's where you're wrong. Okay. That's the kind of attitude that people who fail think. Is that right, Andrew? Yes. Yeah, see, Andrew, Andrew's with it. He knows the grind. Yeah. He knows the grind. Don't interview in this. Don't, 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 don't mess this up. This is, this is good. All right, sorry about that. Anyway, I feel like I'm up for it. I could probably... Like, I could probably, you know, figure out what I could do in order to get on National Geographic. I could figure out. Figure out more information about the planets. We know more about space than we do about our oceans. We can find out even more about space. Space is big. 
All right, thanks for your time, sir. Anytime. Nice to meet you. I'm here all day. The asteroid belt is the disk in the solar system located roughly between the orbits of the planets Mars and Jupiter. It is occupied by numerous irregularly shaped bodies called asteroids or minor planets. The belt is estimated to contain between 1.1 and 1.9 million asteroids larger than 1 kilometer or 0.6 miles in diameter, and millions of smaller ones. Early in the history of the solar system, the gravity of newly formed Jupiter brought an end to the formation of planetary bodies in this region and caused the small bodies to collide with one another, fragmenting, which means splitting them up, into, into the asteroids we observe today. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun and the largest in our solar system. In fact, it's so large it can fit every planet in it. It is one one thousandth of the mass of the sun, and the Jupiter mass is often used to describe the size of other celestial objects. Um, Jupiter is about 483 million miles away from the sun. Um, it takes 11.9 Earth years to orbit the sun. Um, it orbits the planet on a similar plane to every other planet but it rotates faster than every other planet with a day equal to about 10 hours. Um, the planet is characterized as a gas planet. About 75% of the planet's atmosphere is hydrogen with helium taking about 24%. The outermost layer of the atmosphere contains traces of frozen ammonia, a highly deadly compound. Uh, the interior contains a number of denser materials. Uh, the planet is thought to be very similar to Saturn compositionally. Um, Jupiter has 64 moons, six of which are of particular note, called the Galilean moons. Um, Io <laughs> is incredibly close to Jupiter, so close, in fact, that the gravity from the planet causes disturbances on the planet. Um, Europa is the second closest moon to Jupiter, and is a massive saltwater ocean covered with a thick layer of ice. Um, Ganymede <laughs> is the third closest moon to Jupiter. Uh, it is the largest moon in the solar system and is even larger than Mercury. Um, Callisto is the last of the four notable moons and is also the size of a small planet. Um, one of the defining features of the planet is the Great Red Spot. Uh, this is an area of incredibly high pressure that produces a huge storm and is not uncommon on the other gas giants. What do you think you're doing? What? what is this? What is this? What is this? Let's that's my daily challenge. No! Daily challenge? No, daily grind. We gotta go on the project grind, man. I don't know what you're- I'm, 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 taking, your I'm taking your phone. I'm taking your phone. No, I'm Tyler, I'm taking your phone. Give me your phone. Chill. Hey, hey. These people, man. Yeah, I know, I know. Like, what's like, up with that? Fight, 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 you fight. Do it. Loons Tower Defense when we're in an AP class. It's just wrong, it's just messed up. Punch him, Alex. I'm trying to Alex, not punch him. I'm Gandhi. Do it. Mohandas Gandhi. Civil disobedience. No. Do your work. I, this is my work. That is not this is my daily challenge. Right, I'm, I'm cutting this, this off until it gets I too crazy, guys. It makes up 20% of all the planet's mass and the second largest. Ironically, it is the least dense and two thirds that of water. And if you had a large enough swimming pool, Saturn would actually float. Saturn is 888.2 million miles away from the Sun, and it takes only 29.4 Earth years for one complete orbit. One day on Saturn um, lasts only 10 and a half hours, making it 10% wider at the equator than at the poles. The famous hexagon at the North Pole is a vortex of air caused by the spinning of the planet, very similar to Earth's jet stream. Saturn is about 300,000 kilometers, kilometers in diameter, and is comprised of about 96% hydrogen and 3% helium. It is thought to have a layer of metallic hydrogen above a rock core similar to that of mercury in a thermometer. It generates the most powerful magnetic field in the solar system, strong enough to cripple any craft and kill any human within 19,000 miles of it. Lightning from its storms are one million times more powerful than lightning on Earth. Despite Saturn's rings being 250,000 kilometers across, it's only 10 meters thick. They are made of particles of water ice varying in size from fingernail as the size of a house. Some of its moons keep the rings from spreading out into space. Um, with their Some of its moons keep the rings from spreading out into space by their gravity, and it's thought that the farther moons were formed by distant rings that existed long ago. The largest of the 62 moons on this the largest of the 62 moons is Titan and is bigger than Mercury. It makes up over 90% of the mass orbiting Saturn. It has lakes of methane and scientists have hypothesized that they are deep underground oceans of water under Titan's crust. 
The moon has strange weather driven by methane rather than water on Earth. Titan has an atmosphere similar to Earth's primitive atmosphere, and it has been discovered that there is something that varies the amount of hydrogen on the surface. And I'll go ahead and take a minute because I forget how to pronounce his name. starting again. Enceladus is a smaller icy moon 500 kilometers across that erupts huge geysers of water that comes out from its ocean deep under the surface. Um, hold on. Enceladus is a smaller icy moon 500 kilometers across that erupts huge geysers of water that comes out from an ocean deep under the surface. A satellite flew directly over the plume. A, a satellite flew directly through the plume and detected organic molecules. Is it possible that either of these moons support life? Uranus is the third largest planet in the solar system. It is the seventh planet from the sun, and it has 27 moons and 13 rings. One year on Uranus is 84 Earth years. The atmosphere is composed of a hydrogen upper layer and an icy mantle with a rock and ice core. The average temperature on the surface of Uranus is negative 224 degrees Celsius. The eighth and farthest planet from the sun in the solar system. It has. It is the fourth largest planet by a diameter. It is the third most massive planet. Neptune is 17 times more massive than the Earth and is slightly more massive than its near twin Uranus, which is 15 times more massive than the Earth, but larger than Neptune. Neptune orbits the sun in 164 Earth days. Neptune has 14 moons. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, orbits the opposite direction of Neptune's rotation. Neptune also has a system of rings. Neptune has a great dark spot similar to Jupiter's great red spot. One of the strangest objects in our solar system. Classified as a planet for a long time, it was recently reclassified as a dwarf planet. Um, Pluto is incredibly small. It is smaller than the moon and has a mass 2,000 to that of Earth. Along with that, it is incredibly cold and has an incredibly small gravitational pull. Uh, the planet is 3.7 billion miles away from the sun and has a year equal to about 248 Earth years. Um, the planet has five moons, Charon, Cobras, Styx, Nix, and Hydra. Uh, Charon is the biggest and about half the size of Pluto itself. Um, the planet also orbits the sun in one of the most bizarre ways of any planet. Um, most planets orbit in a near s orbit between the sun in a near circle. However, Pluto orbits in an oval without the sun in the center. The orbit itself is also tilted and not on the same plane as the other planets. Um, along with Pluto, there were four other dwarf planets noted by the International Astronomical Union, and potentially hundreds more. Um, Cirrus is located within the asteroid belt and is composed of a rocky core with an ice mantle. Um, Homea is a dwarf planet located beyond Neptune. It is thought to be one of the largest trans-Neptunian objects in our solar system. Um, Makimaki is a dwarf planet thought to be the largest object in the Kuiper belt. Its atmosphere likely has methane, ethane, and possibly nitrogen ice. Um, finally, Eris is the most massive and second largest dwarf planet, falling just short of Pluto. It has one moon and is one of the farthest objects found in our solar system.